Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy, and today I'm here to talk to you about something that comes up frequently on a lot of comments I get and a lot of comments that I see on other sites as well. And that comment uh, is about buying equipment and inspiration. Uh, basically, I see a lot of people saying, you know, I can't make music because I don't have X. But in the world of electronic music, there are so many ways to make music that it's kind of ridiculous. For example, I mean, you could have a crazy sampler setup. You could have an MPC. You could go and get yourself a, a simple track. Uh, you can get yourself uh, any keyboard pretty much and, and have a world of different things that you could use to make music. If you have even a PC, you've got more than enough to create a track. But say, for example, you don't have a PC. All you've got is your imagination and a cell phone. What now? Well, I'm here to tell you today that with just a simple cell phone and your imagination, you can create a track. Now, where will you get your sounds? What source material will you use? That's where this video comes in. Today we're going to be talking about something that I've started called Junk Draw Jams. Now, Junk Draw Jams, basically what I've done is I looked in my junk drawer at home. Everybody's got a junk drawer, right? Like a drawer where you just, you know, the weird stuff that you have just goes to, to you know, to hide until you need it uh, you know one day you'll be going oh i need a bolt with a or a, you know a butterfly nut type thing whatever and you'll go and get in the draw and there it'll be you know or or maybe you just need a, a little pliers that you used to make a small adjustment to a something you know i don't know i have all these things up in my junk drawer and i just went through there and grabbed a few things that i thought could be interesting to play with to make some sounds with you know we got like stapler sounds um you know got uh well, that's interesting <laughs> my one of my children must have stole the spring out of the stapler i just noticed there was no uh spring pulling the uh, stapler forward that's kind of interesting <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah but yeah we got uh, you know different things here um well, we got pens we got some change we got uh, a straw i mean even just a simple straw can have a lot of possible sounds that you could sample and create a track with. Now, I decided to uh, just take some of these devices here and sample them, and then I'm gonna bring those samples to my iPhone. What I often do is I'll walk around with my uh, my iPhone and I'll just be walking down the street and I'll hear ambient noise of some kind, construction or traffic or something, and I'll literally just hit this button like that and I will record whatever's going on around me. And then I will take that back home and I will go in here and I can hit edit and I can, you know, I usually duplicate the sample first like I just did out of just habit and uh, let's see here. All right, now I take this little sample right here and I'll go, uh, let's trim that down and we'll go to crop, boom. Now all I have is this piece right here. I'm gonna take a little more off because I'm trying to get this to place where, right around here I think will be right. And now if I go to loop, You know, but I could go over here and take this sound. Let's kind of get in on this sound a little bit more. We'll grab one more little piece of this. Just to give an idea for the type of things I do out in the wild. Okay, we got something there. I could use that for something. But yeah, so now I've got, I've got a couple of usable sounds here. <laughs> I mean, that, that wasn't even intentional, really. This whole thing was you know, just an experiment as I was going along. The point is, I'm going to sample these sounds, and I'm going to bring them over to my iPhone, and we're going to see what we can come up with with these sounds. Now, I'm going to do this kind of off camera, but basically, I'm going to be using my microphone that I'm using right here. It's going to be a little asmr -y, I guess. But even with just this straw... I've got a straw open here too. Okay, got another straw open just in case I need a prop, you know, to show you what I was doing. But if I take the straw and, or if I throw it into a, a cup, let's sample that for the heck of it. We'll do it. We'll do that with the iPhone. Try to get a good long note out of it. 
All right. There's our first sound. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll just try and do some of this with the iPhone. We'll see where we land. All right. All right. There's some of that. Can do some of these with the iPhone. And and we'll do one more sound here. We'll do this guy right here because I did want to get this card into the mix here. This one's the trickiest one. And now we'll need something for kick drum. So easy enough. We'll just do something off my desk. Okay, ready? All right. And that basically, these are my sounds now. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna take these sounds and I'm gonna put them into a track and I'll be back to show you what I came up with in a minute, doing this off camera. Okay, so I am back. And now I have taken these sounds that we have edited or taken from this first you know, round of sampling. And let's go to B. And here I have brought them in and edited them. Some I've layered uh, in different ways. These first three sounds are actually made with that straw. Okay, that's a very small piece of a crinkly uh, wrapper sound that we made. Um, those are from blowing the straw, looped bits of the uh, wind sound. This right here is a, a small piece of this sound give me like a hi-hat closed here it is again to make a hi-hat open i tweaked it with it a little bit this is the sound of the uh spring on my wrench made a nice kind of cow belly kind of sound i think um turn that up a little give these a little volume boost right there. here's my kick from banging on the desk little reverse effect and this was another uh, effect that we got this one was from the stapler uh, when I was using that to make uh, staple make sounds with that all right so now I'm gonna push all this stuff away and now I'm going to pause again and come back with a track made using just these sounds all right so here we go all right so here we are, I've created a track with those sounds and now I'm gonna let you hear it and we'll show you what else you can do with this application. Now, this is, I've basically made four individual loops. I didn't do a whole song per se, but it's got pretty much all the elements of a song. Um, you could do, definitely do more with it and I don't think I even used all the sounds that I, I, I mean, I didn't use all the samples that I created and then I didn't use all the sounds that I edited. So, I mean, and again, junk draw. Nothing of this is actually an instrument, so. Let's give this a listen and see what you think. So we start here, basic beat. All right, here we go. Let's get a little. I mean, there you go. The other thing that's kind of cool about uh, Koala in applications like it is they generally have some kind of performance mode. If I hit performance mode right here, I can go in here and now I can actually add some things to it. Let's turn the hold so it holds it down.
bit shift. Anyway, you get the idea. So, with nothing but a phone and some trash, essentially, <laughs> I made this track. So, don't let limitations hold you back. Use what's available to you. If you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can get Koala Sampler for about four bucks off the app stores, the correct app stores for your device. Totally worth $4. Um, I use this application all the time, but I mean, there's a million ways to do this. I'm going to do some additional junk draw jams using Reason and Cubase and also Cubasis on my iPhone, which is also available for Android. And also that's even available for uh, the uh, Chromebooks. Yeah. So you can totally, there's nothing holding you back from making music if you've got any kind of device at all. Um, Check them out. See what you can come up with. Let me know what you come up with. And definitely, I mean, send me links. I love to hear what people make. Uh, nine out of ten times, I end up subscribing to the channel. Uh, there's very few channels I haven't subscribed to that someone sent me a link and said, hey, check out what I did when I, you know, looked at, you know, your tutorial here and I decided to, uh, you know, do something with it. Something I was thinking about doing was a junk draw jam, like a compilation of junk draw jams of uh, mine and other people's just taking some stuff and making a track and seeing what you come up with uh and well let me know what you think and if this is something that helped you out or you're interested in doing more with this let me know uh i think the next one might be done with the simple track um just because i've been kind of not promoting that device per se but sort of promoting it because i i love it so much um it's not uh you know it's not promoting it if it's something you actually love i feel like it's just you're just sharing what you like so uh, i'm not saying everybody should have one i'm just saying that uh, i definitely don't want to not have one <laughs> anyway uh so i'll see you on the next video don't forget to like subscribe and leave comments down below i look forward to hearing from you all be safe take care bye for now